Hey guys, so as you may or may not know, Taylor Swift has just released her newest album, Lover. And I don't know about you, but I always get really creative and inspired when I find a new album or <clears throat> just like a new song or a TV show that I really, really like. And I thought it would be a kind of cool video if I used this new inspiration, this whole 18 track album, Lover, um, to try and create some art and see what I can make based off of the songs and the album aesthetic and yeah I thought it'd be kind of fun so let's go obviously to do this I'm going to have to listen to some of the songs again I think I'm gonna probably pull out some songs that caught my caught my ear uh, last night when I was listening to the album all the way through um, and I'm gonna stick with those and see if I can see if anything um, inspires me or if I get like an image in my head or something like that so I think that's where I'm gonna start some time listening to the album, picking out some of my favorite songs. Um, After Glow is one of them. I think Lover might be the best song on the album in my opinion. You can let me know in the comments what your favorite song is from the album. You can't really have like a bad answer, I don't think. Having pulled out the few that I'm really enjoying um, at the moment, I'm going to try and interpret this music um, through watercolor, I think, is gonna be the method that's gonna work well because I do want it to be very pastel. I do want it to be very light. I was contemplating like a brown paper background, but I, it just has to be lighter. It has to have that kind of whimsy and romantic vibe to it, and watercolor is that to me. So I'm gonna go with watercolor and hopefully I will be able to create something that is appropriate and meshes well with the some of the lyrics I've pulled out and yeah so without further ado we're gonna do some art we're gonna do some watercolor here we go <laughs> some like watercolor I even pulled out some acrylics again because apparently I just can't leave them alone I have to let these dry <laughs> before I can do more with them so although I don't know if I'll be doing anything more with that I kind of just like it as like an abstract thing I like colors when they're all kind of like swirled together this does have to dry though I'll come back to this when it's dry going through and pulling out stamps because I think stamps are going to complement what I'm doing really well um, but I just realized um, I have these Studio G ink um, ink pads and I've never opened them <laughs> and I didn't I didn't know I had these until I opened the box and was like oh so I thought I would See what these are like since I've apparently never used them. Ooh, this is a nice pink. I'm gonna use this. This is gonna be great. 
and then a darker pink. Stamps are so addicting. Ooh. Interesting. It's a very dark pink. I mean, all of the ink is kind of at the top, but you can look on the side. That's the actual color on the side. Crazy. Okay. Dark pink. Um, is there two the same color? Yeah, I think there is. I think I only want to open this last one. Yeah, I think that's gonna be another good color. And these other three, I don't think I really need to open because at the moment, just because I'm not gonna use those colors. But yeah, I'm really excited for these. I also pulled out, um, this pink, which I have obviously used with like blue or purple. Um, I am not, I think I, I vaguely remember doing that. Um, I've got another light blue and this like purple blue color, kind of like a periwinkle almost. So yeah, that's what I've got stamp wise. Ink, ink pad wise, my stamps are, I pulled out a little cloud and I thought this would be cute it's some music notes and a rainbow in the back um, and then I've got like some clouds and this is a different set so yeah I think I'm gonna use some stamps on these that I have an entire box <laughs> of these jewels these little like glue on jewels so I'm absolutely going to bejewel this because tell me that's not Taylor Swift-esque like that is Taylor Swift like if you can throw jewels on it why wouldn't you so I'm doing it it's happening and it's sparkly and I like it. <laughs> I'm happy with. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna show it to you. This is what I drew, painted for today. A bunch of clouds, hearts, and music notes and whatnot. Because in the end, I what I was trying to picture in my head, it was just like lightness and um, fluffy clouds and hearts. So that's what I ended up drawing. I was like, well, I don't know why I'm fighting this. I should just, I should just do what the music tells me. So this is what I came up with, and I really like it. I really like adding the sparkly jewels. Yeah. And it says right there, inspired by. 
And then the other thing that I ended up doing that I also really like is I did, oof, it's still a little bit wet, so I gotta be careful. But I did end up doing this tiny little abstract that I actually really, really like. I tried doing a like heart shape motion with the brush. So, ooh. We're good, it's all good. It did not land down on my leg. Um, so basically, yeah, basically all I did was like a heart shape motion with the brush over like the whole canvas. Um, with different colors of acrylics, making it that, you know, lovely pastel-y kind of pink and then some stronger yellows and whites and reds. I really like this. I'm actually, I'm really into abstract lately and stuff like this just like nails it for me. This is the other one again. Who doesn't love pastel clouds? Like, come on, just makes you think of cotton candy. There's nothing, nothing you can't like about that. It's cotton candy. It's sugar. It's fluffy. It's like a cloud. It's like you're eating a cloud. Okay, I'll stop talking about cotton candy. That's my art that I did inspired by Taylor Swift's album Lover. Uh, kind of a silly idea. I had a lot of fun. I just got to chill and uh, listen to Taylor Swift for a while, which what else could you possibly want um, from your day? So I'd say this was a win. You guys can like the video if you want, subscribe to my channel if you want to see me do more crazy, silly art things like this. Let me down, <laughs> let me down, <laughs> let me know down in the comments uh, if you liked this video and tell me what your favorite songs are off of the album because I feel like everybody has way too many. Like they can't pick one. Although to be honest, I think my favorite is Lover, I think. I just gotta go classic. That song's so timeless. It's so timeless. It's like that's gonna be the wedding song for decades. Decades to come. So anyway, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.